We're going to do an example of a line integral of a vector field. Um, so what we want is the uh, line integral of the vector field f um, dot dr, where r is our parametrically defined curve. So that's going to be the integral from a to b, and those are going to be t values eventually. Um, I'm going to try to keep the colors consistent. So then we have um, f of r of t, and that's going to be dot product with r prime of t, and then dt. Okay, so um, our vector field is uh, x, y, i plus 3y squared j. And um, r of t, kind of in general, is going to be x, i plus y, j. And specifically, so uh, we have some component functions here. We have 11t to the fourth i plus t cubed j. So from that we can see, uh, well, t goes from 0 to 1. You actually have to know that in this case. There's nothing obvious about it. Um, x is going to be 11t to the 4th. y is going to be t cubed. And um, r prime of t, which we need, is 44t cubed i plus 3t squared j. And so um, since f is xyi plus 3y squared j, we know that f of r of t is going to be, so I'm replacing every x with 11t to the fourth and every y with t cubed. So we get 11t to the fourth times t cubed, so that's xy, and that's the i component, plus uh, 3, and then we need to replace uh, y with t cubed, so t cubed, and then squared, and that's the j component. And we can simplify that a little bit to get 11t to the 7th i plus 3t to the 6th j. Okay, so now we have pretty much everything that we need here. So uh, we need to know r prime of t and we need f of r of t. So we have those. Um, so let's repeat the, the general process. It is the integral from a to b of uh, f of r of t dot r prime of t dt. So um, a and b are 0 and 1. Those are t values. And then we calculated f of r of t, so let's put that in there. That's 11t to the 7th i plus 3t to the 6th j. Now we're going to dot product with, we calculated r prime of t to be 44t cubed i plus 3t squared j, and all that's dt. Um, now we're going to actually carry out the dot product. So it's the integral from 0 to 1, and the dot product is uh, first times first, so we're multiplying the i components. We get 484t to the 10th plus... Um, then second times second, so we're multiplying the j component. So plus, that'll be 9t to the 8th. And then that, of course, is dt. So now this is just a really simple integral. Uh, so we reverse power rule, plus 1 times the reciprocal. Simplifies 44t to the 11th, plus um, this just becomes t to the 9th. We evaluate from 0 to 1. Uh, when you plug in 0, you just get zeros. So really, we just end up with uh, 45, 44 plus 1. And uh, that's the whole thing. So I hope you found this helpful. I always think uh, these line integrals are just like the ultimate in U substitution. We just keep substituting and substituting until we're down to one variable, and then we uh, integrate. So hope you found that helpful. Good luck.